Hi there, it's Russ Sallow with GPS to Go. Let's do another in our informative tutorial videos on the new My Geotab 5.6. So last time we looked at map, we looked at finding trips, we looked at breadcrumb trails. Uh, let's look this time, we'll start off, let's look at the rules wizard. So a few things that are always a question, people want to know, how do I set up rules? And in the past, you pretty much needed the GPS to go technician to give you a call to help you set things up. But now if we just go under rules and groups, we click on the word rules. We've made it really easy in here. We've got things like your harsh braking, hard acceleration. I won't read these all off. But what's happened in the new evolution of 5.6 is GeoTab has been listening to the requests of the customers. What have people been asking for most often and put it in here in an easy to find fashion so that these are simple to set up and you'll start getting results right away. Remember your Go 5 and your Go 6 devices plug and play have that beeper built in. So for instance if you say I want to know about hard acceleration jackrabbit starts you can just turn this on turn it off. Your hard cornering with the aggressive turning and the accelerometer. Speeding is always a popular one. After hours use. Are people taking my vehicles out after hours, weekends, evenings? A new one, possible accidents. So we now have a productivity tab. Idling, late arrival, leaving early, unauthorized home stops. So are they going home during the day to go have lunch? Extra long lunch. Now, one of the big ones, of course, idling, it's all in here, battery. And a big question we get, how do I know if the device has been unplugged? So your unauthorized device removal is built right into here as well, okay? Watchdog report. So you can get a hold of us to make sure that we show you how to find all of that. But setting it up is easy to get you rolling. Your notifications, if we click on this, you can start setting up the notifications. Who's going to be, be told when this kind of thing happens? Very easy like we did before. All right, zones are something that I'll show you now. So setting up a zone, let's go into our map. So we click on the word map. The map of North America will start off. Let's type in the letter G. Remember that all of your GeoTab devices all start with the letter G. So if you just put the letter G in, if you're unsure what they're called again, all of your devices will come up. So if I highlight Ottawa Home, number one, we're going to see it here. We see where it stopped. Again, if we hover over our square, it's going to give us the date, the time. So here we are, September 3rd, 2012, 3.30 in the afternoon is when the vehicle last moved. If I want to create a new zone, so for instance, I could do what we we're used to seeing before, map type. I can switch it into a different kind of map. So you have some options inside here. So if I want to create a zone, I just click on the word add zone. And say, for instance, I want to know when my vehicle is maybe going this cul-de-sac. You can see that our cursor has changed to a plus sign or an X. So all I would do is I click, drag, click, and drag, click, click, click. And remember, you can make this any shape that you need it to be and when I finish you see that that circle will get bigger again that completes the circuit and now the zone editor is going to show up in here we can put in the name of the zone fill out the rest of the information visible not visible do we want to see when they're stopped in that zone we have now improved the way you can choose color so now you have all of these different color nuances so you can choose just about any color that your heart desires and then when does it end so here we have 2049 
So about a 30 year lifespan on that, which is probably going to be enough. You could put it up to say 2100 if you like, and then you're never going to lose information. The data will stay with it forever. So we've done that kind of thing. That's how you create a new zone. Now, how do we add a new user? Very often a big question. So if I click on administration, I go to the word users. Here's the people that are my users in here. If I want to add a user, I click on the word add. So I put in the email for that person. And you could have, for instance, an email that is just a made up one if it's uh, convenient, just for the sake of giving somebody a login. 123 at 123.com. Okay, password. Password strength will be told to you. And then security clearance. Are they an administrator where they can change things? Supervisor, a user, view only, or nothing? So that's some more basics of the Geotab 5.6. I'm Russ Sallow from GPS2Go. GPS2Go, now you know.